All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So, if you're wondering where we're at now, today we're on YGO Pro, because Death Pro's still not working, and we clearly saw some messing up with Salvation, so let's just go ahead and try uh, YGO Pro, and hopefully this works. I said I have all three of them, so hopefully one of them is just working okay, or I can actually produce content for you guys. I really don't want to be like, well, I can't produce, you know, content for you guys because of everything being broken that would be really sucking you know and while it wouldn't be my fault it would just kind of suck I, I just have a, a feeling a pit in my stomach as if it is my fault and I'm, no I'm just not for that I'm not for that so uh, we are back we are using the DDDs uh, I still need to you know learn more about this deck I, I, I definitely can't say for sure that I'm you know completely knowledgeable of, of, of the plays that this deck does but uh Hopefully I can at least do something decent. So this is like during your main phase you can feed someone one feeding type monster from your extra to get monsters from your hand or field and then if you wait treat and summon the monster you can also banish them from your graveyard as well. Okay. Uh, you can only use this effect of the once per turn. Okay. So I can go ahead and activate this and I can fusion summon pretty much any of my DDDs. D -D 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 -D. Almost any of them. I guess I'll go ahead and summon you. And we'll fuse with, I want to kind of put you in the graveyard. No, that's the other slime. That's the other slime. Discard you in your graveyard. And you can fusion summon one DDD fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing fusion. So I definitely want you in the graveyard. But then do I want you in the graveyard? That's questionable. Because if I get slime, then this can always summon you from the graveyard as well. It's not a number of It's a one. You can target one DDD monster. If it's attacked, it becomes zero. Oh, but then your effects aren't negated. So. So yeah, we're going to send you to some of you. Of course, I see the Grand Mole. The Grand Mole is obviously there, so that's given. But of course, I have my Solemn Notice, my trusty Solemn Notice breaking OTG meta coming over here soon. Solemn Notice. <laughs> it's just like Konami doesn't learn. It's just like, yeah, you know how we uh, <laughs> how we uh, had Judgment at 3 and that was broken, and we had Notice at 3 and that was broken. I mean, Warning at 3 and that was broken, let's keep Notice at 3. You know, uh, I said on OTG Bandless, they could have went ahead and hit the notice. They definitely should have, but they didn't. And because of that, look at look at the conundrum that we are we are faced with. So of course Gremlin's gonna come after me at the given and then I'm just gonna be like, nah, no, nah, someone notice. Yeah, no. Nah. Like nah. I don't want to deal with Gremlin. No one wants to deal with Gremlin. Gremlin is still at one for a reason. It's it's, it's a ridiculously good card. <laughs> so uh, of course as we know on uh ooh, giving them life points back. Ah <laughs> Uh, of course, as we know, on a... There's really not much I want to do right now. Like, I'm just going to take it slow. I, I'm in advantage right now. Like I said, I could kind of overextend and do this play and this play, but if this dies, then I'll go ahead and do this play. But if, you know, if this isn't gone, there's really no point. Like I said, this 28 beater, this easy summon 28 beater, is just, it's just so good in this deck. Like, I've had the hardest time with it, but yeah. Uh, my friend, Fonzo, made DVDs, and I dueled him in it. I was having a hell of a hard time getting over this 28 beater. I was like, how the hell do I get over this thing? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and go ahead and get your wing creeper back. That's fine. That's fine. You can have that done when I'm mad at. But yeah, that of course, you know, Dev Pro is uh certainly being messed up right now. And uh, <laughs> the exploitations of these uh, mistakes are definitely real. Okay, so you're just gonna dust tornado my uh coming in. Understandable. I said I was just gaining life points just to be gaining life points at that point. Uh, I was probably gonna fuse and summon again. You know, maybe like banish and then fuse with this. Maybe create like another king because king is like the leader of the deck. It really does seem like it. You just puzzed out king so often. But yeah, the exploits are just real. Uh, some of them are just simple, you know, just mistakes. Like, hey, you, you synchro summon, sorry, you know, it fucked up. And at least they actually put up something that they're actually gonna get on it. So. I definitely appreciate that, that they're actually gonna, you know, get on it, because I was actually getting kinda ticked off that they really weren't doing anything or, you know, stating the problem when it's just so blatantly obvious, you know, when Asian Eyes fucking just puts up something, that's when you know, you know, that's when you know. Alright, this card's in your grave, you can feel someone do the monster from the extra deck by banishing the few monsters listed in your graveyard, including this card, so, uh, that would mean that I'd be banishing my, uh, my other guy, and I kind of want to keep him in there just for Howling's sake, but I'm just drawing a whole bunch of Howling, and Howling ain't doing shit, so I guess I'll go ahead and summon Howling now. So, summon Howling, we'll go ahead and summon you back, because why not? So I know you, you're you going to go down to zero. And what's your effect? I know you have some kind of effect, it's like you contribute to do something, 
I think it's like you could tribute a DDD monster to banish. I think that's your other effect. Let me scroll down. Can I see your monster effects? There we go. Sometimes doesn't mean you can target blah blah blah. You can use the effect of Once per turn, you can tribute one other DDD monster you control and target one monster your opponent currently controls and banish it. Not bad, not bad. If I known that, if I would have read that, I could have just handled the grand mole with ease. I could have just went choose and summon, then summon, then summon back, and then tribute, and then yep. So, oops, it's cold now. It's cold now. Can you tribute yourself? Yeah, this kind of blah 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 blah. blah. Ah, that's questionable if I want to do these plays. Ah, I think it's one other. Yeah, it's one other. So go ahead and banish your monster. You don't need it. All right, and we'll just get it in this freaking king. Okay, I'm in Kaput and control is doing. I'm just drawing a whole bunch of night howlings. Howling's good. It's just you have to have the right things in the graveyard. Now, if I definitely had some other juicy DDD in the graveyard, hell yeah, you know that'd been a combo. Uh, that'd been like summon Howling, Howling summon back uh, Ragnarok, Ragnarok summon back Oracle King. But I really don't have much in the graveyard. I'm just kind of, kind of sitting here in control of this duel the entire time. You know that one piece of backer doesn't scare me. You know, do you want to use it on my on my cards? Use it. Use it. I don't care. I got the MST, but I just don't feel like the draining shield. All right. So, let's just wear it just like back where we can. <laughs> gaining life points, losing life points, losing life points, gaining life points. Like nothing, nothing's really happening in this duel now, is it? <laughs> like I said I can always go ahead and use a uh, slime. I think I'll go ahead and use that next turn slime infuse with that uh, DDD Night Howling, and then get two kings and just go in because this duel is going a little bit too slow for my liking. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go ahead and MST that. I don't like that you just that you top deck. I wanna I kinda wanna rush this duel a little bit more. So you go ahead and uh, foolish something. I might go ahead and summon you. You can go ahead and send uh Oh see. Okay, okay. I'll have a normal summon you. You you can go ahead and send me regular slime. Regular slime, regular slime, yeah. Swirl slime. Then you can go ahead and Use. What do you do again? Oh, you special summon DD from my hand. That's, oh, that's good. That's great too. Oh, he's just gonna scoop. No, no. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, well, we'll get another deal one. Be right back. All right, back. So yeah, the exploiting is real. The synchro. I mean, that's understandable. It's just it's kind of weirded out, but yeah. The the. Ooh, ooh. Oh, he made me go first. That sucks. Uh, I guess I'll set the MST and pass. I don't want to go first. I kind of want to go second because I. I have a pretty good play. You're probably wondering what's up with Transmodify. There's actually a pretty unique play that can be done with this Transmodify. So, wow, I'm just gonna Galaxy Cycle on my MST. That's fine. That sucks. It sucks that I got his Galaxy Cycle on the grave right now because he could just use it on my, uh, on my, uh, on my contracts, my dark contracts. So that sucks. We're going against the Blue Eyes deck. Alright, alright. <sighs> you know, I'm not sure. You know, age nice. You guys subscribe or not, but the exploitation is real. We named off a couple of cards with that whole, you know, until the end of the turn thing is broken on Dead Pro. Uh, you know, such thing as like, you know, if effect veil are permanently negated at one for one, you're never taking damage. Same thing with Lava Coom. They're taking it to a hundred level. All right, Naxi, Naxi, yeah, yeah, Naxi. How about you just draw whenever your opponent special summons? Forever, just draw, draw. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah, this uh, <laughs> Asianizes ass. Decide to go ahead and ex super exploit the system. All right, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I don't think I can get over this blue eyes though. But I think I might have to regeki. I think I might have to regeki. Uh, is it? Is, is it just in your hand? You can use this card to fuse some one DD monster from your trick using monsters from your hand. Yeah, it's your hand. All right, then I guess I'll go ahead and normal summon this just to uh, send stuff to the graveyard. Like I said, I think I might have to throw a regeki at him because I don't think I can handle uh, blue eyes without. Regeki. Oh, I can't attack over him. Not really. I feel like the struggle is going to be real. So you can just part again. We can feature some one DZ monster from your extra deck with damage and the above. In your graveyard. Yeah, I'll go ahead and summon you. So I'll go ahead and fuse you and you to summon you. So you're going to be like, what? Still don't get the transmodify, Daniel. Watch, watch, watch. You're going you're gonna to see. You're going to see. Transmodify. Go ahead and transmodify you up. And yep, yep, we'll go ahead and summon him. And he will go ahead and summon right back. Like, wow, that's actually pretty good, right? Do you have like some kind of on seal effect? I don't think so. That's actually decent. I think you just gain light points. Like, any thing that causes you to take effect damage, you just gain it instead when it's on the field. Yeah. So we'll just go ahead and summon right back. Yep, that transmodify play is pretty strong. I hate that I have to throw my freaking Regeki at him. 
I, I, I don't like that. Probably should have summoned you in defense mode. Just so you have a 3,000 booty. Actually, it would have been pretty good to summon you in defense mode, but we're still okay. This deck is actually pretty good at bouncing back with ease. Because I can just use my slime. I used up all the cards in my hand. The play was still good. I think the play was actually still uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Now I'm just hoping that, it, you know, summoning Copernicus in attack mode with zero attack won't fuck me too hard. It is blue eyes, though. Using you and then searching and then summoning you. I said, I would not be surprised if he just simply just summons Maiden. He already saw how hard I had to do to handle Blue Eyes the first time. So summoning Maiden, just sitting on it for a while. That's 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 great. <laughs> that's great for him. But yeah, Asian Eyes decided to go ahead and put up a video of probably one of the dickish cards for the whole you know glitching uh, glitch uh, till the end of the turn thing ever. Yeah, this man actually decided to go to the extreme and play Watt Draft. Oh no, he's gonna actually target himself. <laughs> Damn, so he got all three, he got all three Sage Knights in his opening hand. Or, yeah, yeah, in his opening hand, because you, you can't search Sage Knight with Sage Knight, can you? Yeah, you can't search Sage Knight with Sage Knight, so he literally got Sage Knight, summoned Sage Knight, got the search, then Sage Knight pitch, targeting Sage Knight, and then he had another Sage Knight. He got all three Sage Knights. Wow. I don't, I don't get shit like that when I play my fucking blue eyes, like, not even close. Alright. Oh, the gospel's actually working on here. Fucking damn you, salvation! See, I know I wasn't crazy. <laughs> yep, that gospel is so good. So, I think this is just a bad matchup. I should have probably put myself in defense mode. I'll, I'll probably go ahead and admit that. I kind of got too too thirsty for the damage, and now I'm pro I'm definitely getting punished for it. I don't think that's game, but it it's gonna be close. Like it, it's definitely close. <laughs> These are pretty decent at bouncing back, though. Like I said, and I do have my, uh, my, uh, my Necro Slime and my Floral Slime, so. Despite not having cards in my hand, I still got plays. But I can go ahead and fusion and summon into my big DDD guy. Oh, he's just gonna go into this guy. The new guy. So what do you do during either... Once per turn during either player's turn, when spell card is activated, you can make that activation. If you do, attach it on the field, exceed material. Oh, only if it's like a, a card that remains on the field will negate it. Because if it fizzles, then it'll go graveyard. Alright. Any opponent wants to card that attack, you can attach it to material, then change the attack of the target to this card, and then perform damage calculation. If you want to control, it's just draw a cloud by card effect. You can target one of those. I lost my freaking. I think that was declared. You control that battle by card effect. You target one of the much you control that ends attack. Okay. That's fine. Alright, so. Source Slime, I special summon one monster, DDD monster from my hand. I don't want to do that. But definitely Necro Slime. Necro Slime. Ah, uh, yeah, I can't summon. I can summon him, but. He's only 3,000. That the struggles are going to be real. Let's say if a DD monster is special summoned to your side of the field, except Ender. So you could target one DD monster or a grave on special summon that target. I'll use the effect of blah blah blah, blah once we're trying. I wish I could go ahead and go into my big DDD guy, but I don't think I can do that. There's no point in going to you. You're okay. Uh, we'll try you. No, because you're just. You're just D and DDD. I guess I'll have to be you and you, you know. That's inconvenient to say the least. I can use Swirl. Especially some of you. And I don't think I have anything left in my graveyard, do I? I don't have Alexander. So I don't, I don't really have any plays anymore. I was hoping I'd be able to go into uh, this guy. But it has to be two DD monsters. But then in the Necro Slime's like, hey, you have to use me. So, yeah, I'm, I'm screwed. <laughs> this deck has a terrible matchup against Blue Eyes because the beaters are too strong. Yeah, I like literally. Unless I have some backer to handle it, this is the only guy that can get over a blue eye without crashing, so, yeah, you got it. Alright, we'll go ahead and get another duel. Be right back. Alright, another duel. So, yeah, Asia and I decided to go full-on butt and actually do Watt Draft. Like, can you guys believe that? Fucking Watt Draft, people. That, I think that's a dick move. I really do. Personally, I think that's a really dick move. So, you're probably wondering, like, what does Watt Draft do? Pretty much, it can attack you directly. And if it attacks directly, you can't activate monsters, spells, or traps until the end of the turn. 
until the end of the turn with the glitch is extended so you can activate monster spells or trap monster effect spells or traps for the rest of the duel <laughs> like kind of does that sound does that sound fair does that sound yeah yeah that sounds fair all right so go ahead and summon my uh kepler kepler go ahead and get me my covenant activate my covenant covenant go ahead and search me for slime and then i can go ahead and fuse it up slime go ahead and go into king use you there we go probably wasn't too terrible and then i could you know summon back with all that but it's, i don't think that's necessary uh, the per the other question is, is it necessary to go even further? Because I could activate Covenant and then, you know, Fusion Summon again, but, you know, like I said, I, I would have two, you know, Oracle Kings. So what would that do? What, what does two Oracle Kings do? Like I said, maybe maybe I'm taking things a little bit too passively, but what would two Oracle Kings do? I can XE them to, like, what, a Draco Sack, a big guy? Now, if I had that fake card, then maybe we'd go ahead and talk, but, you know, it's just like, eh, really, just, eh. Yeah, all my opponents are making me go first. I was like, oh yeah, go ahead and throw that dark hole at me. I saw that coming. So, because your Sendry monsters cannot be destroyed by battle by card fact, make your choice instead. Alright. Ooh, bear. Ah, oh, I can handle bear though. I can handle bear. Yeah, it's just gonna get another tanky. I, I'm wondering if I can handle his plays or not. I was like, of course, dark hole. Just dark hole, yep. Yep. I was wondering that. I was wondering, should I overextend? Because if I don't, if I overextend, I'm just gonna get freaking wrecked by Regeki. Not Regeki, but instead it was Dark Hole. No. But I would like to go ahead and special summon Leah, and then I will go ahead and throw the MST at this piece of background. Oh, it's just your, your technique. Now oh, I can once again go ahead and get my search on. The question is who I want to search for. Oh, I can search for, uh... Oh, no, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. I was thinking of our... Ooh, I can search for, uh... For, uh... What's it called? Uh, Swirl. Dark. I mean, Necro. No, never mind. I want to search for, uh... What's his face? Uh... No, not you. You. <laughs> because then I can go ahead and... Activate my Swirl Slime. Special Summon you. I'll go and summon some in your defense mode this time. That 3,000 booty seems like it'll come in. And then summon back my, uh... My Uncle King. Like I said, this deck is pretty good at bouncing back from getting fucking destroyed. And then, what? I can go to Bay Life. I don't need Bay Life. I really don't. I really don't. Yeah, I was just gonna try out the Transmodify play. I think it's cute. Because you kind of like get additional monsters just for free. It's just like, hey, you have this, transmodify this, and this will give you it right back. So, the plays are real. I think I'm just going to take it slow. I'm okay right now. He's not killing my dark gates. He has some Yusenjus, but I'm not really too threatened by them so far. There's nothing too threatening. I said I can just, I should be able to just wrap this duel if I have another piece of background. So when you activate him, I can just be like, nah, notice, you die, and you don't get any more summons. Right? Oh, you can destroy this. I was gonna say, like, why aren't you going? Like, yeah, I can, you can destroy this instead. Because it would be said, it does say destroy by card effect, and I am destroying you by card effect, but, I'm, but your effects are still negated, right? Please don't tell me I fucked this up. If I fuck this up, I'll fucking just end my life. Because <laughs> I think you should have been negated. Yeah, you're still negated. Go back to your hand. Because I know you're going to try to jump me, but I'm not for that. Definitely not for that. Uh, do I have any guy that, like, destroys back row? Even though I probably think that it's his, uh, DDD. Uh, I mean, his DDD. Why would he be playing it? another one of these counter traps? I'm not. Can't actually be sure. For all I know, it's like Storming Mirror Force, so. So, let's see if I can actually make anybody that can handle this situation. I don't think there is. This guy, I know, he can, like, he can, like, uh... He can, like, destroy all spells and traps, but that's only during my turn. Once return during your standby phase, yeah. So that's not gonna help. But I really don't think... Ooh, if I can go into, uh... Uh, Siegfried, that'd be... No, not Siegfried. Yeah, Siegfried. 
you could just negate the spell or trap. So, uh, what is he? Sink eight. Can I make an eight? I'm not even sure if I can make an eight. Like that, that's, that's a big one. That's a big one. That would require... I, wait, I think I... No, no, no. I can make a seven. Like seven. But I don't think I can make an eight. Not without uh, a harmonic. But whatever his name is. So, I'm going to go ahead and get my search on again. Now who I want to search for. Because Night Howling can go ahead and summon me back. Summon back Alexander and do all that in plays. Uh, this is questionable. It's questionable. He's too calm. He's too calm. Like, I definitely think that he has, like, you know, like a storming near force or something along those lines. So, the question is, can I survive? And to tell you the truth, I don't think I can. Like, with his fucking onslaught of what I'm about to receive, like, I think, I think he's going to be able to wreck me. Like, uh, I don't know what I want to add. I guess I'll go ahead and add Night Howling. And another Kelpler, but Kelpler doesn't really do anything for me. Actually, you know what? Probably should have got my Pendulum Scales and, and put on my Pendulum Scales. So these two should be enough. So if it's anything, these only these two would get it. I would still have this 3,000 booty, so that's not too terrible. Still have a normal summon or dumb any play, so. so if it's anything, stop me now. Forever hold your peace. Um, I, do I got it? Do I got it? Do I got it? Yeah, I got it. All right. I, I was being a little bit too cautious, but you send you. You gotta be cautious, right? All right, one more duel, one more duel, we are back. All right, all right, can I please go second? Can I win rape, rock, paper, scissors? No, I lost rock, paper, scissors again. Who's going first, who's going second? I'm going first again? Am I going first again? God damn it, stop making me go first. Why does everybody want me to go fucking first? Why are you fucking ridiculous? Like, God damn. Hmm. Yeah, I can, I, can go, I can go completely off, but I think I just might want to take it slow. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and summon Copernicus. Copernicus, go ahead and drop me something. Unless you want Effect Veil on me. Because it seems like you might have like an Effect Veil or something. Max Effect Veil, Max C, something along those lines. Now, I already have you, so I guess I'll go ahead and drop you. I really haven't been using Necro Slime properly. Like, I should probably start using them, you know, more vigilantly. I can go ahead and play Dark Contract and then search for, uh... Um, uh, Leonidas, is that his name? I get all these, like, Leonidas and Siegfried and Alexander, I get everybody's names mixed up. Yeah, yeah, I can get Leonidas. I said, I'm gonna take it slow. I, I, I don't know, everybody wants me to go freaking first. Like, blue eyes, yeah. For, you want your opponent to go first. You send you, yeah, you want your opponent to go first, so. <laughs> it's like, god damn it, I don't want to go first. I don't. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Oh no, here we go. Fucking, fucking Nectabus out of fucking nowhere. Yeah, I'll hit you with the notice. I want you to get any farther than that, and then, of course, I don't have any more set cards. Because obviously, you're just gonna go like, Marksman, yo, blow up his set card, but I don't have any more set cards, so. Went ahead and handled that freaking, uh. And, oh, he's just gonna summon Tias? It's a summon Tias? Like, really? Alright, summon Tias. You know, TS is like one of the best Marmel cards, definitely, indefinitely. <laughs> like, we use Rommel Summon, so I don't have to worry about the Lind right now. Yeah, I'm gonna kill my Copernicus, that's fine. I wonder how many best fears and stuff are back there. I'll probably save the MST for the Abyss Fear. So, you may have some back row, but I'm not sure if there's gonna be too much of a threat, so we'll go ahead and especially summon you. Oh, no, nope. he's gonna throw the solemn notice at me as well. Alright. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I took all that damage, that's fair. Alright, so who do I want to search for? Since I already took the damage, I'm gonna well go ahead and get my search on, right? So I'm not sure if I want to overextend too much. I'm gonna go ahead and activate. So is it MST? No? Alright. Ah, uh, uh, that's a good question. That's a good question. I'm already gonna probably do my slime play, so I kind of want to search for Night Howling just in case shit hits the fan. I can go Night Howling seven seven back and then you know have like a reset button for my plays. Cause that's what this deck is pretty good at. So we'll go ahead and activate. So, maxi. I, I thought I thought you had like a maxi or something. So I guess it'll even out because <laughs> I'm not going in. 
you want to play maxi, that's, you'll get one draw. So you have a lens and then you drew into an unknown card. This card's still unknown as well. I said, Soon, things are still okay. Okay. But this deck, of course, that my opponent, I, he's known for being able to go off. Oh, there we go. There's the Insta Fusion. Or did he top deck that, or did he draw some Maxi? I don't know, but here we go. Insta Fusion, Norton, Norton, summon back. I think he might have game. I think he might have game just because of uh, how broken Norton is with uh, the non normal, the not normal summon, additional summon summon. Like, we already know. He's probably going to 1 0 cast Stell me, and then depending on what he has, he has, I know he has a Lin. So he has Lin plus this, and then I'll probably get burned by my Dark Contract for game. So I might even have to MST my own Dark Contract to make sure I don't die. Or Bahamut Shark. Okay. Oh, going to this bitch. So what does she do? He's really going on the defensive. If I were him, I would have went on the offensive. Like, why, why are you going so defensively? You could, you could have won this duel potentially. Just make a one on one. Take my, my monster. Summon win. 21, 15. Uh, that's 36. And then I would have got burned from my dark contract for game. I mean, of course, you didn't know I had my MST. But yeah, like you, you kind of. I'm gonna take a pretty passive, passive rate right there. So, what do you do? I need to punch time when your opponent targets exactly one face up from a monster. You control for an attack or with the spell or trap card. But you touch your scimitar from this card. Blah, 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 blah. But you don't have it to go. This card just turns into a great. You can target one real monster in a great except for you know, the strike special summon it. Ah, ah, so that's your plan. So instead, you let me live, and you allow me to gain a thousand life points. Like I wouldn't allow me to gain a thousand life points. I wouldn't have done it. That, if I was that, if that was me, I'd been like, no. Ah. <laughs> uh, so now the question is, do I go off or not? Because I know I could, I could probably go off. I could probably go off. Hmm. So. All other cards and effects on the field cannot be activated and their effects are negated for the rest of the turn. So even if they hit the graveyard, they're still negated? I'm not sure about that. Wow. This guy is awesome. <laughs> that guy, that guy takes the cake. He's, he's really good. Ah, so what do I want to do right now? I guess first things first, I'll go ahead and get my search on since he didn't want to get aggressive with it. Question is, who do, who do I search for? That's, that's, that's a good question. Uh, I think I'll just go ahead and search for this guy. Because I can go ahead and special summon him with Swirl Slime. So, special summon, and yes. Special summon, and then I can just go ahead and XC into my big guy. Yep, I can actually go into the guy who I said, like, wow, this guy is actually a freaking monster. So, I'm still question still questioning whether I should MST this. No, oh, because cards and effects on the field cannot be activated, right? I just cards you summon. Cards and effects on the field cannot be activated. Their effects are negated, so. Sure. I'll go into the big chair guy. So, you're negated, you're negated, everybody's negated. We're all negated. <laughs> Use Necro Slime and Fuse again and tell you what, what do I have in there? Alexander? I think I might want to, just to push, because I kind of want to push right now. No, that's cool. So, all my DDD monsters are going to flip Pierce damage. Yes, please. Oh, but then we're still negated. I'm still negated. Still negated. Alright, I already, I obviously know what that is, so. Let's go ahead and have you attack you. I said, do you still resolve in grave? I think you do. Yep, still resolve in grave. All right, that's that's annoying. It's actually annoying that you float like that. Let me kill you. Then you're kind of a threat, but then you are no, because no, you're just kind of floating anyway. So I'll just kill everybody else. You have to probably deal with you later because you're really not doing much right now. And then aren't you like a freaking like? Heavy Storm or something? Catch your destroy all spells and trap cards on the field. Like, catching the same material. Like, that, that, that's just like, wow. 
to tell you the truth, I might just do that in end phase. I mean, it's nice to have my dark contract, but as you can clearly see, I'm, I'm already pretty much buffed right now. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty beefcake right now. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I can just get my card right back, like, wow, squall didn't notice, alright. So all my DD monsters game have pierce now. And once I turn my stem, well, I can just lead to my stem face, it's chill, it's still the same thing. Uh, oh, I'm chill right now. I'm chill right now. All my DD monsters game pierce? Oh yeah. So, we'll attack that Lind. You'll be like, hey, Lind! And I'll be just like, pierce. I, I think that might be game. <laughs> I think I might have been able to destroy you with the, just the floaty power, swarmy power of DD. Just giving you the D. Mm hmm. Ah. Take all that pierce damage. Bam! And then attack the for game. Yay! I beat Atlanteans! <laughs> Alright, I'm go ahead and call it. That was a pretty good duel. That really was. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And uh, hopefully this is better than last DV video. Got a lot of dislikes. I mean, like I said, I'm still new to the deck. But I think that the plays were at least decent. So if you guys want to go ahead and tell me what I should do differently in the comment section below, I'd be really appreciative. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow using... Uh, what am I using tomorrow? Uh, I forgot the name of the deck. Dynamis. Tagging. Yeah. Alright, thanks for watching.